Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I kind of want to do a definitive guide for you guys to help you decide which 2018 MacBook Pro is right for you. So as you guys know, the 2018 MacBook Pros just became available. Uh, as you can see in this story right here, 2018 MacBook Pro models now available for in-store pickup in the United States. So you guys should be able to um, pick one of these up possibly in your local store. I'm not sure which configurations they're talking about in this. Uh, you guys would have to check your own store make sure they have the configuration that you want. But I'm not even gonna talk about that right now. Let's go over the different options that you have. So we'll start off with the 13 inch. Um, I personally did not order this, just so you guys know are, and are aware. I ordered a 15 inch uh, maxed out MacBook Pro. Uh, the only thing I didn't max out was the internal storage, which honestly is whatever. It's not that big of a deal uh, because who's actually gonna use four terabytes of storage anyway. So for the 13 inch MacBook Pros, let's start off with these. Uh, I would stay away from these two. These are the old ones. These are not new. I don't think the price has changed at all. I would stay away from these. These are the seventh gen uh, Core i5s if you want something new. These are the new ones, this one right here, and you have to scroll down a bit, and this one right here. So a lot of people might pass this up if they don't scroll all the way down. So as you guys can see here, this one's got 256 gig storage. This one starts at 512. The price difference, 1799 and 1999 right here. Uh, this one's got the turbo boost uh, up to 3.8 and it's a 2.3 gigahertz. Uh, this one is as well. The Intel Iris Plus graphics is a 655 on this one as well as this one. Eight gigs of the LPDDR3 RAM and this one has the exact same. So as you can see, they're pretty much the same uh, except for the storage. So you guys can kind of pick and choose there uh, which one of those you want. But let's just for the sake of this video, let's click on this one, the top of the line one and we'll pop that open here. And uh, so yeah, you guys can choose to get the 2.7 gigahertz if you would like. Uh, by the way, just so you guys know, these are both quad core processors. So this is going to be drastically improved over last year's uh, 13 inch MacBook Pros. This is the first time ever actually that Apple has put a quad core processor in their 13 inch. So uh, you guys really probably won't even need this unless you're doing heavy uh, editing. Uh, most of you will be just fine with this one. In fact, like for college and stuff, this is probably the one you're gonna want. Now RAM, this is something I would probably upgrade. I have 16 gigs in my current uh, 13 inch 2015 MacBook Pro, and it's very nice. Uh, I think eight gigs is doable if you're just gonna be doing you know, basic web surfing, you know, going on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, even word processing stuff. But if you're gonna be doing anything with video, anything with a pro application, you're probably gonna wanna opt for the 16. It's only $200 and you cannot upgrade it yourself. Uh, so if you want, if you think you're gonna future proof it, you might wanna go for that. Um, and then the storage, that's totally up to you. Uh, 512 is usually perfectly fine for most people. Um, but yeah, so there's not too many things to customize there. It's pretty easy. Uh, if I go back here and I select the cheaper one, which a lot of you guys might be thinking of as well. For this one, same exact options here, except you can also bump this up. This is the exact same as the other one pretty much. It's just, this one just gives you the option of 256 if you would like. All right, so now let's go on to the 15 inch. And I did a lot more research uh, on these ones just because there's kind of some more options as well as obviously it's more expensive and it's the one that I was looking to get. So all of these, again, you can choose silver or space gray. I don't think anyone's gonna pick silver to be honest. Everyone's gonna pretty much go with space gray um, but here are your options so you've got this base model 15 inch right here with a 2.2 gigahertz processor and this is a six core processor mind you not the typical quad core so this is going to be much more powerful than last year's for example um, so this is the 2.2 gigahertz six core i7 eighth gen intel core processor turbo boost up to 4.1 gigahertz radeon pro 555x with four gigs of gddr5 memory so all of them this year are going to come standard with the four gigs, which is nice. This one also comes with 16 gigs of the DDR4 memory and 256 gig SSD storage. Um, and then these are pretty much the same for across the board. So let's just go into this one because a lot of you guys probably are gonna start with this base model just because it's a little bit cheaper. So if we scroll through here, you guys can choose either the 2.2 gigahertz or you can jump up to the 2.9 gigahertz for an extra $400, uh, totally up to you. 16 gig memory versus 32. And I do apologize if you guys can hear the fan noise from my computer. Um, this laptop gets pretty hot. Uh, but anyways, so 16 gigs is probably good. Now, if you're getting the 15 inch MacBook Pro, you're probably doing more professional work um, and you might wanna jump up to the 32 gigs, but it's $400. But just remember, you cannot do this yourself later. I know with my 2012 MacBook Pro, uh, you know, I bought my own RAM for like 80 bucks later and put it in myself. It was great. I doubled it from like four to eight. Um, but this one, you're gonna have to either choose 16 or 32. Personally, if you're going for the, for the cheaper model and you're not doing as much Pro stuff, 16 should be plenty. 
Um, but if you're doing a lot of pro editing, like stuff in Logic Pro or uh, Final Cut, you might want 32. It's totally up to you though. Now, as for graphics, uh, there's the 555X and the 560X. It's only $100 more. Um, the difference is not great for these. Um, it's not a huge jump, but personally, I would go with this one. In fact, the next step up, you can't even choose the graphics. Um, but if you are trying to go for more of a budget, uh, if you have a budget of, let's say, you know, 2,400 bucks, you're gonna wanna go with this one. And it's not gonna be a slouch by any means. This is going to be a very fast computer. Um, it's gonna be what, way more than any average user would ever pretty much use. But yeah, I mean, when you're spending this much money, you might just wanna bump this up a little bit. Uh, but that's totally up to you. Now storage, that's also up to you. It depends how much you actually keep on your laptop. Now, if you use cloud storage for your photos, um, you know, you might not need 512 gigs. Now, if, or if you have, or if you typically dock your computer on your desk and you have a external hard drive plugged in, I mean, you don't really need this. So if you wanna save the 200 bucks, um, you guys can opt for this one. Personally, I would do 512 because that's a sweet spot for me because think about it this way. If you guys run bootcamp, which bootcamp should still work on these, I think. Um, you're gonna to wanna to partition some of this to Windows. And if you only have 256, it's gonna to be tough to do that. So I do 512, totally up to you though. Um, you can go up to four terabytes for 3,200 bucks. Don't know why you do that on this model, but you can do that. All right, so let's jump up to the um, more top tier MacBook Pro here, 15 inch, starting at about $2,800. So this one starts out with the 2.6 gigahertz, six core, eighth gen Intel Core i7 processor with turbo boost up to 4.3 gigahertz. So this processor is very fast. It is uh, almost top of the line. It's not the 2.9, but it's not the 2.2. And I need to say this because a lot of other reviewers are not gonna mention this. If you opt for the top of the line, I've seen in the past MacBook Pros, they will get hotter quicker and th thermally throttle quicker than the lower end model like this 2.6. So in theory, there are some situations where this one might actually be about the same speed as this one, if not slower, just because it heats up quicker. I don't know if that's gonna be true for these ones. Apple MacBooks are notorious for not having the best thermals on the inside, so they can't really take uh, advantage of all of this extra power. With that said, I still got the 2.9 gigahertz, so if you are, you know, all out, you're like, I'm gonna spend this money for sure. Um, you may as well just go with the 2.9, but for most people, this is what I would recommend. If you're not sure, you're like, you know, I sometimes do a couple video edits here and there, uh, but it's usually just used for school. Personally, I would recommend this one for you. Now that's just my opinion, but I think this one is a good sweet spot of price as well as performance, because this thing is going to be fast. It's going to be very fast. In fact, uh, I believe Austin Evans did a video. Uh, he just got his 2.9 gigahertz. He had basically, he ordered basically the same one as me. I think this one with 32 gigs of RAM and he got, I think 5,000 or 6,000 on the single core Geekbench score and about 25,000 on the multi-core score, which is crazy. I think last year's model was like, or two years ago model, the 2016 was like 16,000. This thing's 25,000, it's so fast. So I'm sure this processor right here will be fast for most people. Um, 2.9, again, this is for if you're pro, uh, like me, I am doing tons of video edits all the time. I need all the power I can get. So this is gonna be nice. It's still a little overkill for me probably, but whatever, I'm gonna future proof this thing. So I got this one and I also got 32 gigs of RAM. You guys can get opt for 16 if you want, but I think if you're gonna get this processor, may as well just opt for the better RAM as well, because this will definitely future proof you a little bit, at least for a couple years, three to five years. Um, now as for storage, this is where it gets pricey, just like all of them. Uh, I opted for 512, but you guys can up this if you want. I mean, it gets really expensive really quickly. So those are my thoughts on the uh, different Macs. Now I do recommend buying this with the education discount if you are in school or if you're a teacher, you guys can read about the rules. Um, but I recommend doing that because I think you get about $300 off and you get a free $300 pair of Beats. So if you sell the Beats for let's say 250 and you get the $300 off, that's $550 off of this total. I did that personally. I think mine was ended up being like $3,400 um, after tax. So it's actually not that bad of a deal and I'm getting a free pair of Beats. So I highly recommend you look into that, see if you're eligible, um, do your research and pick the Mac that's right for you. So hopefully this helped you narrow it down. It really depends on your budget and what you do with your Mac. Um, but again, if you're a pro user, you already know what you're gonna get. You're already gonna max this thing out. Um, but let me know your guys' thoughts on this. As soon as I get mine, I will do tons of videos for you guys, kind of comparing it, going over it, uh, hopefully help you guys make a better decision, but I won't be getting that for a couple days. So I'm very excited to show you guys the maxed out 2018 
15 inch MacBook Pro in space gray. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon if you wanna see more videos about the MacBook Pros. And uh, that's all I got guys. Again, if you found this helpful, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.